paranormal investigation equipment. There was a plethora of equipment available on the market. Some of it is very valuable, but some of it I would not recommend. The equipment that Mount Washington Valley Spirit uses includes an OOSSXX2K wireless near-infrared with DVR system. It allows us to monitor and record day, visual, and night near-infrared video and audio. FLIR Far Infrared Thermal Camera TG267. It allows us to see in the far infrared spectrum for heat signatures. We are able to take still photos using this device. A full spectrum camera with infrared light. This mobile device allows us to extend the visual spectrum to see in the near infrared spectrum beyond our eyes ability, taking both still photography and 4K quality video. A Zoom 360 H4N Pro audio recorder. Due to the high sensitivity and amplification, it will record audio that is beyond the capabilities of reception by the human ear. It allows for live use so we can plug in headphones and monitor the feed during usage. REM pod. It's an EMF and temperature sensor. It alerts us of electromagnetic and or thermal flux in proximity to the device. Laser grid. Allows us to see if there's any type of movement in a dark room. Ambient temperature. Humidity sensor. It measures humidity and temperature to record rapid thermal humidity flux. There are also several pieces of equipment available on the market that we do not use at Mount Washington Valley Spirit. A K2 meter. Historically, some TV shows have shown this device to be a ghost spirit detector. This device is an unshielded EMF meter that can be set off by anything from a cell phone renegotiating its connection to a tower, a two-way radio down the street, Wi-Fi, a human or animal, static electricity, etc. Anything can set this device off, therefore making it unreliable to be used as seen on TV. The only benefit of this device is to use it to find EMF spikes from electric equipment. Ghost Box, also known as Frank's Box. This device is marketed to have the ability to communicate with entities by rapidly scanning the FM radio band. All it does is pick up bits and pieces of what radio stations are transmitting. Theoretically, how would an entity manipulate electronics to form words that it is intending to speak? Ovilus. This device is marketed as converting localized electromagnetic energy into words. There are even cell phone apps marketed for this purpose. I believe this device is for entertainment purposes only. Structured Light Sensor Camera. SLS Camera. It is also known as. This device is marketed as gathering electromagnetic radiation and giving it a visual representation as stick figures representing spirits of ghosts. I would use this device for entertainment purposes only. It is new, and while an intriguing theory, it doesn't have a practical purpose as any energy can be represented as a paranormal entity on this device. Please visit us online at www.mwvspirit.com where you can find our social media sites and blog. Thank you for listening to the Mount Washington Valley Spirit Podcast, where we don't like to be normal, we like to be paranormal.